My name is Dari Franz. Let's solve the problem. For each of the following quadratic equations, find the discriminant and hence draw its sign diagram. Find all values of k for which the equation has first, two distinct real roots second, two real roots third, a repeated root fourth, no real roots. And the first equation is 2x squared plus kx minus k equals 0. This is a quadratic equation and in our case a equals 2, b is k and c is minus k. The formula of discriminant is, so let's find it, b squared is k squared minus 4 by 2 by minus k is plus k. So discriminant is k squared plus 8k. We can factorize it. And let's find k for which discriminant equals 0. We know that the product equals 0 when any of factors is 0. So we, ha we have k can be 0 and k plus 8 can be 0 too. These are two k's, uh, they do discriminant equals 0. So we can draw a discriminant sign diagram. This is our k plane and this is minus 8 here and here is 0. And when k is minus 8 and 0, discriminant is 0, changes its sign. So let's take some point between minus 8 and 0 and see whether discriminant will be positive or negative. Let it be minus 1, for example, then discriminant will be 1 minus 8 that is um, negative so between minus 8 and 0 for k between minus 8 and 0 discriminant is negative and when they are minus 8 and 0 it changes its sign so in these areas it will be positive for k bigger than 0, it will be positive and less than minus 8, it will be positive too. And we can answer our question. And we know that when discriminant is positive, the quadratic equation has two distinct real roots and when it's negative, it has no real roots and when uh, it equals 0, it has a repeated root. First case is when our equation has two distinct real roots. It happens when our discriminant is... We can see from our diagram that this is for case that are smaller than 8 and bigger than 0. Next question is when our equation has two real roots, those roots can be distinct, but they can be and it, it can be and repeated root. So it can be when our discriminant is bigger or equals zero. The next question is when um, our equation has a repeated root, it's when discriminant is zero at points k minus eight and zero. And the last question is when our equation has no real roots. It happens when discriminant is negative for k which bigger than minus 8 and smaller than 0. Okay, the next task is we have such equation, such a quadratic equation, x squared plus 3 k minus 1 
by x plus 2k plus 10 equals 0. And we have to draw discriminant uh, sign diagram and to, to find k for which our equation has two distinct real roots, two real roots, repeated root or no real roots. Okay, this is our equation and we have a equals 1, b equals 3k minus 1 and c equals 2k plus 10. So uh, our discriminant will be b squared minus 4ac which is 3k min minus 1 squared is b minus 4a which is 1 by c 2k plus 10. Let's expand the brackets 9k squared minus 6k plus 1 minus 8k plus 40 equals 9k squared minus 14k minus 39. And we have to find the k which makes our discriminant equals 0. So we have a new equation, one new local <laughs> quadratic equation. We have new a, b, c. Let's name them a1, b1 and c1. So a1 equals 9, b1 equals minus 14, and c1 equals minus 39. And let's use quadratic formula to find those k's. We have k equals minus b1 plus minus square root of b1 squared minus 4a1c1 divided by 2a1. Let's put our data into this formula equals now let's do our multiplication and we can see this is it means that discriminant equals zero when k equals 14 minus 40 divided by 18 or k and k equals 14 plus 40 divided by 18 root k1 which is 54 divided by 18 and we can simplify it's 3 and next root k2 is minus 26 divided by 18 and which is so those are two meanings of k and we can do the diagram i'm not good in drawing so this is our k lane and we can see two roots minus 13 divided by 9 and 3. In those two points the sign of discriminant changes. So let's see, let's take for example 0, 0 0.0 and see what will be discriminant, positive or negative. So discriminant is 9k squared minus 14k minus 39. It will be at point k equals 0. It will be minus 39. It will be negative here. Discriminant is negative. So those two areas, it will be positive. And we can write our answer. First situation, our Equation has two distinct real roots when discriminant is bigger than zero. It happens when k is less than minus 13 divided by 9 or k is bigger than 3. Second situation is our equation has two real roots. It means they can be two distinct roots or it can be repeated root. So this will be when discriminant is bigger or equals zero. And uh, this is for k that are smaller or equals minus 13 divided by 9 or k which are bigger than 3. And the third situation is uh, our equation has a repeated root. It will be when discriminant is 0 at points k minus 13 divided by 9 and 3. And the last situation is when our this equation has no real roots, it's when discriminant is negative, this is for k bigger than 13 divided by 9 and smaller than 3. 
these are our answers. One, two, three, and four. And thank you for staying with me and hope to see you soon. If you have some questions or some task you cannot solve, you can write me in a comment and I will try to help you. Bye.